Hey guys, Noah from Urban Digs here. Um, I just want to talk really quickly about what's going on with the stock markets right now because um, we're going to have another down day here. Um, this is now Thursday the 27th here and I'm looking at the futures market. So the markets are not open yet, but you could look at the futures markets. Um, to do that, I'm over at cnbc.com slash pre-markets and you can see right over here um, what the implied open is going to be. So we're down in the mid 300s here. Um, so we have another down day. So one thing you want to kind of keep an eye on here is, is watching credit spreads. Um, and what I mean by that is when the markets get uncertain and there's a risk off trade kind of going on, which is not what we've been seeing over the last nine plus 10 years, uh, we've seen markets just go straight up, complete risk on trade and uh, search for yield kind of a trade. Um, but when that reverses, you look to the credit markets um, because that's what leads equities, right? Credit leads equities, stocks follow credit. Um, and what I mean is um, you want to look at the spreads between risky assets um, or investment grade assets and U.S. Treasuries. So when the markets are getting iffy and stocks start selling off and things get uncertain, investors basically go into safe havens. And safe havens usually are U.S. dollars, um, U.S. Treasuries, and uh, depending on the type of situation, um, gold. Um, and you're starting to see that. You're seeing, you're seeing U.S. dollars go up. You're seeing Treasuries get um, loaded on. And you're seeing gold do its thing. Um, so you're seeing that classic reversal into safe haven. Basically, uh, investors are looking for a return um, of their capital um, instead of return on capital. It's like, just give me my money back. I don't want to be in stocks right now where those stocks are going to fall and the value is going to go lower. I want to be in just cash. So that's why um, those safe havens go up. So if you think about this now, let's focus on U.S. Treasuries, right? When, when money goes into U.S. Treasuries, which is one of those safe havens, um, yields on those U.S. Treasuries fall. So right now, the 10-year yield on U.S. Treasuries is like 1.3 or something, and it's approaching historic lows. And that's what happens. Those yields go lower. So if U.S. Treasury yields go lower when the markets are getting iffy, now think about investment grade and high-yield bonds, the corporate bond sector. The, the yield on those guys are going higher, right? So that spread is widening, right, in situations where risk off is starting to happen. And that's what I'm talking about here with watching credit spreads. So to do that, I, I go to um, this site over here, the St. Louis Fed, um, and they have this economic research forum called the Fred Economic Data. And the series I'm looking at over here in this case is um, BAA corporate bond yields. So this is this is just one way of looking at it. This is like more like investment grade kind of thing. This is not high yield or junk or anything like that where you'll see bigger moves. But if this starts to rise, right, this this 2.19, this number here, that is the spread between those investment grade um, assets, corporate bonds and 10 year treasury yields. And again, um, if if the markets are going to uh, start selling off and investors are really going to um, go into safe assets, you're going to see it in the credit markets first. So those yields on the investment grade bonds or the high yield bonds are going to rise. And then the yields on U.S. Treasuries are going to fall and that spread's going to widen. So that's what you're looking for here. And you can see it, right? You can see it. Oh, it was lower. It was a lower spread um, in late December and in early, even late January. It's under two. And now we're starting to go straight up. So this is what you want to watch to see if the stock market has legs. Um, if this continues to rise, then that's telling you that the credit markets are starting to get a little rattled. Um, and chances are more on the high side that stocks are going to continue to sell off. Um, if this starts to come back down again, that's a good indicator that you could probably start buying the dip. Um, this is just one way of doing it. You can you can do high yield bonds um, relative to treasuries, um, and you can do other assets relative to the treasuries. So this is this is what I like to look at. I think it's a cool little tip. It's it's a different way of looking at the market if you've never looked at the market this way, and it's one of those things where um, as you start following it, it, it gets more clear in your head, and as you start seeing the relationship between what the stock market does and what the credit markets do, it makes sense. And if you want to do some history on it, go back to. Uh, 2008, 2009, the credit crisis, and you'll see what these guys did and whether or not that was a good indicator of what was to come. Uh, Noah from Urban Dig signing off, and I hope this was helpful. Take care.